A judicial committee has today pronounced its judgment on the 33-year-old conflict between the Jamong and Jafok families in Bungulugu in the northeast region. James Urua Mensa, Jamong family lawyer, Alhaji Abuba Nasimong, uh, have been speaking. The ruling was a unanimous decision. The committee has nullified the enskinment of Alhaji Abuba Nasimong. Well, the background to this story is that the Jamong and Jafo families have been in battle over the Bunkurugu chieftaincy skin since 1986, when a member of the Jafo family was a skinned chief of the area. The dispute was renewed in 2006, when the current chief, Na Alhaji Abuba Nasimong, um, another member of the Jafo family, was again skinned by Nairi, the overlord of Mount Fugu traditional area. Aggrieved by the development, the Jafok family, which has uh, claimed sole legitimacy to the Bunkuru skin, uh, dragged the rival family and the Nairi before the House of Chiefs. Violence broke out in 2014 and persisted, leading to significant losses of lives until late 2016, when both factions agreed to a permanent ceasefire through a blood burial ceremony. Now, what the blood burial ceremony means, it's a, it's a ritual that they do to signify that we both agree we will not fight again. Elias Tanko is a correspondent for Northeast. He joins me on the line. Hello, Eliasu. Hi. Eliasu, what is happening right now following the announcement of the verdict? Well, we understand uh, the military, uh, the security, of course, has resumed patrol in the Bunkugo Township. Heavy uh, security currently uh, in that particular township, and they are patrolling, even though uh, life is still normal at the Bunkugo Town and the boy in the Bunkugo Township. But as to speak, the military soon uh, patrol in that, uh, in anticipation of, uh, I mean, any untoward event because this particular issue, this particular chieftaincy issue has been raging for 33 years now. And any time uh, the parties will go to uh, the judicial house of chiefs or return, there have always been some skirmishes or some clashes. And so today that the house, the regional house of chiefs has declared or pronounced their judgment, uh, there is a widespread anticipation of uh, clashes or violence in the area. And so as we speak, the security are on top of the issue. They are on high alert and they are partially in the Bungurugu Township. Let's talk about responses so far from this ruling. So the National House of Chiefs sat on this matter and the verdict was announced today. But have both sides spoken? Yes, I mean, this is it. I mean, the ruling is a bit technical. This is what we are learning is that uh, the job the Jamal family actually uh, took the matter to the House of Chiefs, demanding uh, uh, that the, the House of Chiefs should declare the Jamal family as illegitimate to occupy the Bunkurugu skin. And they also asking uh, that uh, the, 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 the House to declare the current chief or the contested chief not the occupier of the Bunkurugu skin. Today, what happened is that the regional house of chiefs ruled that the Jaffa family is indeed uh, a royal family and capable of, a, I mean, occupying the Bunkuru skin. But they said that the the, the chief Na Abu Banatimo could not pay his royal lineage uh, to the Jaffa the, the Jaffa family, and so they will not be able to allow him to be the chief the, the chief of the area. Uh, according to them, if they allow uh, the chief to, uh, the Na, Na Timon to be the chief of Bunkuru, it will create a, a lot of confusion. And so two things, they have ruled that the Jaffa family is a legitimate of, can, can occupy any member from the, uh, the, 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 the Jaffa royal family is legitimate to occupy the king, but they also rule that the key of Na Abuba Na Timon is Nal and Boy. Now, uh, immediately after the ruling, the chief came out to, I mean, uh, raise some issues, saying that uh, his grandfather has been a chief of Bunkuru before, and it was the uh, Nairi who enslaved him. And we do know that the Nairi is the overlord of the Mampuru traditional area. So, 
uh, authority to a king chief in Bunkrugo. And so he's saying that he uh, does not understand why uh, the, the regional house of chief gave that particular ruling. But he said uh, he's not a troublemaker uh, and that he was going home to consult with the overlords of the Mamprugo traditional area. Hmm. So he says that he, he disagrees with the fact that uh, the regional house of chief says he is not in line uh, as a royal, but he's, he, he is not a troublemaker. So it means that he, at that point, he accepts the ruling, but he's going to consult with his family elders. Exactly the point. I mean, hmm. he says that uh, he contested the, that particular decision that he, he has no... I mean, uh, royal lineage to okay. the, the, the Jafok family. Elia, so uh, let's, let's talk about the, the regional house of chiefs ruling itself. Um, when it ruled that uh, the Jafok uh, 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 chief uh, is not fit to be in that position, what else did they add? Does it mean that they legitimize that, uh, the Jamon uh, faction? Can you take that again? What 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 are the what are the what else did they what ruling did they give as far as the Jamons who took the case there uh, is concerned? Well, the 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 Jamon family uh, since we understand that since uh, the establishment of the Bunkrugu team some decades ago has been ruled the the team has been ruled by members of uh, the the Jamon family and so in. 1986, when uh, the Nairi and King, a member of the, the Jafok family, the members of the Jamon family contested and, and took it to court. But because he was the overlord, his decision was able to stay until 2006, mm. when the chief passed away and the, the, the overlord again chose uh, Na Abu Banatumo, who is coming once again from the Jafo family. And so the, the argument of the Jamon family has been that they are the sole, I mean, legitimate family to occupy the Bunkrugu okay. uh, scheme. Uh, and so today, the court did not, the, 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 the judicial house, of the, the judicial committee actually said that uh, the Jafo family also. I have the right to occupy the Bunker Good Okay. Uh, and so the, 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 the explanation is clear today that not only the, Jam the Jamal family has the right to occupy the Bunker Good but also the Jamal family. But the, but the interesting part of the ruling is that this particular chief has no I mean, royal lineage to the Jamal family, who okay. the is coming from. Okay. Ha has the Jamal family responded? Have they said anything? Yes, the lawyer of the Jamal the family responded, and he said that all along, it, this is what they have been looking for. Uh, they feel that nothing has changed, and they still stand by the, the fact that they are the only people to occupy the scene of the Zonkrugu system. But do they accept the ruling that they are not the only family that can uh, occupy the skin? Well, they do not make specific pronouncement to that. Okay. But since they have accepted uh, the ruling that this piece is not legitimate, we assume that they have, uh, I mean, accepted the fact that they are not because they did not also raise any contest or protest mm. to that particular judgment. Okay, hang on for me, Elia. So let's listen to James Urua Mensa, who is the German family lawyer. A journey will take to finally come to an end, secondly. And it is also said that an empty sack cannot stand upright. But when the inevitable happens, it is attributed to my, my God. Nothing is impossible. Our prayer has always been that the more royal family will emerge from the arena of this matter. It has come to pass. Okay, so now it has come to pass. What next? Because the uh, um, council had appealed to both factions to remain resolute and not to pick arms. What will be your reaction in case? Uh, 
along with any. Yes, I earlier on indicated that I'm happy for the people of Bungu, which means that they will all come together. Now the war is over. They will now come together and then develop Bungu. I believe they are all brothers and sisters, and I don't think there will be any trouble again in Bungu. Okay, what steps do you prefer that they should adopt to ensure that there is peace? Well, I advise that they will first go and greet the Nairi, the overlord, and then thank him for everything, and then resolve their differences with him. I think after that, they can carry out the orders of the court. So that's the lawyer for the Jamong family. They initiated this uh, case with the regional house of chiefs, and it's come out. They wanted to seek clarification on whether or not the Jafok family uh, has a right to the throne or the, the skin, but as the ruling ha, have it, uh, has it, the Jafok family can be uh, or can occupy the skin, except that the current uh, leader, uh, uh, his position has been disputed. So, Eliasu, are you still there? Let's wrap this up quickly. Yeah, thank you. Right, Eliasu. So, at the moment, what is happening there? At the moment, like I said, we understand the police, the, the security of course has resumed uh, patrol in the township. What is going to happen, very interesting, is that uh, the Jafok family will be visiting the Nairi, the overlord of the Mamprogo traditional area. Mm. And we understand this is the first time that his decision uh, has, been, uh, 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 has been overturned by another authority. So it is going to be very interesting. And we also understand this particular chief has some, I mean, family ties with the with the Nairi, with the Nairi. Uh, uh, and so it is going to be very difficult how the Nairi would accept this particular ruling. Well, let's leave it to them to decide on that. Um, Eliasu, thank you very much for that update there. Eliasu Tanko is our Northeast uh, Regional Correspondent. They're keeping his eyes on the Bungprugu uh, ruling that has just come in today. So two families. Um, uh, two families, one skin, and one of the families took the matter to the regional, uh, regional House of Chiefs uh, to mediate. And the Regional House of Chiefs has just today issued uh, their verdict on that matter. They say that both families qualify to occupy the skin of Bungprugu, but we we'll certainly keep our eyes on it. Security, we are told, has been beefed in Bungprugu. Uh, in anticipation of any situation so it can't be dealt with or nipped in the bud.